Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna to celebrate Christmas in July by taking a look at the 2022 Department 56 release of the Snow Village Christmas Lane House, Oh Holy Night, and the coordinating accessory that, uh, that you can purchase separately for that house, and that's called Christmas Eve Preparation. So with that, let's jump in and take a closer look at this 2022 uh, Christmas Lane piece. All right, guys, here is the box for the Snow Village Christmas Lane House, Oh Holy Night. It is a really cool piece, uh, an incredible paint job on this, um, and it comes with a coordinating accessory piece with the snow angels there on the right, which is separate from the house, and then the manger uh, is actually built onto the, the platform for the house. So. With that, let's take a look. And before we jump in and look at this, I wanna make you aware that the snow angels that came with mine, I just discovered one of the lights is burnt out on the snow angel. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Uh, I'll have to make a trip back to my local Hallmark store and uh, have that exchanged out. So then they in turn can send that back to Department 56 and get it checked out and, and fixed. So. Uh, however, it doesn't take away a whole lot from this house. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, the price point, just like anything else in 2022, has increased. If you want to purchase this home, a brand new retail is $240. Uh, it's a pretty big house, and it's pretty cool looking. The paint job is amazing. Down in front, on the base of the house, as you can see, uh, included in that is a manger scene with a little sheep. You've obviously got Mary and Joseph and then baby Jesus in the, in the manger there. Uh, and that's all on the base of the house itself. The lights coming through the windows are really well done, very yellow color. I, I like that warm glow. Uh, a wreath on the door and then some garland with some red bows that kind of decorate the front of the house. So pretty simple decorations in that regard. And then you've got the star that shines brightly on top of the house with another yellow LED light. Uh, and so you can kind of see that from afar. The house looks really, really good. And then when we get to the back of the house, you'll see the wiring that comes out to control this uh, accessory here that comes with the house. Now, the house itself is all ceramic. Uh, and I'll show you the paint job a little bit closer uh, here in a moment. This accessory is plastic minus the base, which is also ceramic. And so a really well done piece. Unfortunately, one of the lights here is burnt out. It's, it's probably a loose solder joint or something inside, but again, I'll, I'll have that replaced. Now it does not come with trees. I put the trees out just for some symmetry around the house for to help you get in the holiday and Christmas spirit. But uh, let's take a closer look at the paint job on this house. Uh, we'll move around to the side. Let me move this tree out of your way. The side of the house on this side is pretty standard. I love the blue color of the house, the blue color of the paint. Very simple, just one window and the chimney on this side of the house. So nothing really fancy or complicated there. As we come up to the roof of the house, You've got the typical snow that sits on the Department 56 homes for Christmas Lane and, and the Snow Village. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. The, the fit and finish on this house is really well done. The Oh Holy Night is, uh, is pretty thin uh, and it's, uh, it looks like it's glued onto the front of the house uh, and it's got a lot of the kind of the gold sparkle uh, effect on it. So pretty standard there as well. Now, as we come around to this side of the house, you can see, let will move this box out of the way. You can see that this side of the house is really no different. It's got uh, three windows versus one, but it looks about the same. Let me move around my tripod here. You can see the back of the manger where the wiring comes out. Uh, connecting underneath the house where you'll never see it. And then no issues uh, on this side of the house at all. The, the fit and finish is just really, really well done. What you would expect for, 
for a house at this price point for sure. And then behind the house, uh, again, no, uh, no big deal there. Just a couple of windows, nice lighting coming through uh, each of those windows with a nice little step up to the back door stoop um, that goes into the back of the house. Now, this is what I was telling you about. You've got two wires coming out of this house, and we've seen this similar setup before. One of the wires control uh, goes into the uh, AC adapter that plugs into the wall, and then this wire goes into the accessory that uh, powers those three uh, uh, angels up front. And again, uh, obviously, if you wanted to, uh, you know, display this, you could either put this cord underneath the foam with some holes, or you could uh, just simply put it down with some maybe floral pins and, and bury it under some snow. Either way, it would look just fine. So that is the house. Now let me swing back around and, and get this stuff out of your way. And let's take a look at uh, the accessory, the coordinating accessory that goes with this. And this is Christmas Eve preparations. Once I saw this, I knew that I just had to, I had to have this one as well. It goes so well with this house. And I love the way the light comes out of these luminaries and kind of shines. And I know it's hard to see a little bit, but it shines on their faces. It just, it's got this really cool glow on each of their faces. You've got a young lady and a little, Looks like a little boy there, and he's got a pail of sand. And that sand is absolutely detailed as well. And they're putting, it looks like, sand in the bottom of those luminaries, perhaps, to, to weigh them down so they don't blow away. So just a really, really cool coordinating piece. Uh, and it gives you some extra light. It's pretty bright, especially if you turn off the, uh, turn off the lights and look at it that way. If you want to purchase this piece to go with the house, this piece, uh, the Christmas Eve preparations will set you back $68. Again, a little bit on the spendy side, but it is all resin. Uh, I'm sorry, it's all uh, ceramic, not resin. Uh, it's very well done and uh, it lights up really, really well. It looks great, as you can see, uh, on another side of the house to kind of frame the house with some lights on either side. So again, a must have for me, uh, it's going to look really, really nice in the in our display for Christmas. You could do this as a standalone vignette as well. It would be a pretty robust one. Uh, you put some trees around it like I had earlier, and some snow, and it would just it would really stand out and pop. And I love I love all the lighting on it. So uh, with that, that's a better look at the Christmas Lane 2020, 2022 house from Department 56. Oh, holy night! and the coordinating piece of Christmas Eve preparations. Okay, guys, well, hopefully that gives you a better look at the 2022 release of the Snow Village Christmas Lane Oh Holy Night House and the coordinating piece of Christmas Eve preparations. For me, these two right here are must-haves for any diehard collector in the Christmas Lane um, uh, series or genre. And that's about all I really collect. I, I, I do churches for Christmas. I do Christmas Lane uh, for, for Christmas, obviously. And then anything that just kind of strikes my fancy as I see it, I try, to, I try to get those pieces too. But I don't go nearly as crazy uh, for the Christmas pieces that I do for the Halloween pieces. So hopefully this review has helped you to decide if you haven't received the house yet or you haven't ordered the house yet or you're thinking about it you're on the fence. Hopefully this will convince you to go out and, and get it. It is a very nice house. Uh, the paint job is absolutely amazing. It's a, it's a pretty big and hefty piece. Uh, and so the price point for what you get is not too off the charts um, uh, considering everything, right? What I would do, uh, and you saw mine, I've got a light burnout or a light's not working in the piece that comes with the house. So what I would do is before I leave the store, if you're ordering, uh, if you're if you're at a store, is open that up and, and plug it in and make sure that works before you leave with it. I wish I would have done that, uh, may have saved some a little bit of time. If you're ordering online, then plug it in and make sure you've got some sort of a return policy in case it doesn't work. And you can always, uh, I'm confident in that, contact Department 56 and, and I'm I'm sure that they would do something to make it right for you. So it doesn't deter me a bit. It's a wonderful house. It's a beautiful home. And the accessory, coordinating accessory piece that goes with it is just uh, stunning uh, on either side of that uh, that house with those lights. So 
For me, it's a must have. Hey guys, if you've liked this review, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Uh, through your guys and through your help and your, uh, your sharing of the videos, are, are, the numbers are continuing to go up. It's, it's overwhelming. It's, uh, it's humbling. But I certainly do appreciate it. And as the channel continues to grow, uh, it helps to encourage me to put out more videos. Hopefully you guys are enjoying those as well. So that's going to wrap up the Christmas in July uh series probably not going to do many more of these the only christmas pieces that i did purchase for 2022 so far so uh we'll be back uh with another review of the crypt series which is coming up next and so with that take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you again real soon